Hey everyone, this is Jordan with Unconventional Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about the Snapchat Spectacles Nico. This is the second generation of Snapchat Spectacles that came out in 2018. These Snapchat Spectacles are currently selling for $200, which is $100 less than the new Ray Ban Stories. So let's start talking about them. And we look here at the front of the glasses, you're going to see two circles. This circle right here is going to be our camera, and this circle right here is going to be our LED light ring. Now the LED light ring is going to show you your battery status, it is going to show you when you were taking a video and when you took a photo. Now checking the battery status is super easy, all you have to do is double tap here at the top of the glasses, and you can see that the battery is pretty low, so we're going to want to charge these glasses. Now charging them is super easy, you just turn them around, and you're going to see these two circles right here. You're just going to grab your cable. Now this is a proprietary cable that you can only get at Snapchat. And you are just going to tap it over here and it's going to magnetically hook it up. Then you just plug this into the USB port and charge up those glasses. Now going around looking at the glasses, you can see that the arms are actually the typical thickness of a pair of sunglasses. Really the only added bulk is going to be here at the front of the glasses, but that doesn't add really to any discomfort. Now let's close them up and I can show you at the very front. When you want to take a photo, all you have to do is press and hold and you will see that the light ring is going to light up showing that you took a photo. Now if you want to take a video, you are going to just tap it and it's going to show that rotating light ring showing that it is currently taking a video. Now when it comes to video, you can only take up to 30 seconds at a time. Now to initiate those 30 seconds, you have to tap the button three times and you'll see that LED light ring rotate for 30 whole seconds. On the inside of the camera, you'll actually be able to see it yourself with a tiny LED right there. So whenever you take a photo or a video, it will tell you when the timer is about to be up or that you just took a photo. Now what's really cool about these glasses is they are water resistant, so you're able to take them to the pool, on a water ride, or in an area where you might get wet. I will actually be showing you guys a video from these Snapchat spectacles of me on a water ride, just showing the quality of that video and audio that comes with these glasses. Now hooking them up to your phone is pretty easy. All you have to do is open the Snapchat app. At the very top of the screen, it's gonna ask you to click on the Snapchat spectacles icon. Once you get on the spectacles icon, you are going to see your spectacle screen right over here. As you can see, my battery level is pretty low, so we're going to need to charge those up. But in the meantime, I can also see that the is currently checking for new Snapchats. It saw that I just took those photos, so it just imported them all. Whenever you connect to your Snapchat spectacles, it will automatically import the photos that you just recently took, which is really convenient. It will actually let you choose the format of the photos and videos you want, whether you want it circular, whether you want it square, or whether you want it in movie style so that it is widescreen, depending on what you want to use that video for. Now, I do recommend that you are constantly connecting your phone to your Snapchat spectacles so that it saves the date and time. I have had an issue where it didn't sync up and the date and time that was listed on the photos was super off, so I had to manually go in and fix the date and time that those photos were taken. So just make sure you're constantly keeping the Snapchat spectacles connected to your phone to make sure the timestamp is accurate. Now, as far as the quality of the video and photos go, the photos are leaving a lot to be desired. I'll attach some photos to this video and you'll be able to see the quality of them. They're not the best. I personally appreciate the video that they have. The video and audio quality is pretty good for how small they are. So I really think these are more of a video pair of glasses than a photo pair of glasses. Overall, I really do like the Snapchat spectacles. Though the photo quality isn't the best, the video quality is pretty good for the price point. I would definitely recommend this for those looking to have an extra camera on them when they want to be hands-free, whether it be while you're swimming or while you are in a situation where you could get very wet and you don't want to ruin your phone. 
I do appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much, and we will see you in the next video. Here we go. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs>